Plain Infernally OTK? That's a paddling. Plain Exodia FTK? That's a paddling. Plain Chainburn? Oh, that's a paddling. <laughs> Your turn, Unibor. What is up, guys? This is Lintheo. Bit of a weird intro there. Coming at you with a discussion video today, and kind of a video response to Randy, aka Mega Capital G. And the question is, and the subject of the video is, is it okay to run quote unquote scumbag decks? If you don't know what scumbag decks are, they're basically categorized by decks that normally it's a cheap way to win or it's a solitaire dot deck where your opponent doesn't really interact with you. So for example, they can be Exodia decks, they can be Chainburn decks, or they can be things like Infernity decks back in the day where they would just do their play and make a massive field, a massive back row, and you wouldn't be able to do anything. So the question is that Randy spoke about is, is it okay to run these decks? Now specifically said is it okay to run it at locals, but I'm going to broaden it to say is it okay to run these decks in general? Now straight away I'm going to give my opinion and normally I don't do this and leave it towards the end, but yes of course it is. Personally I think it's completely fine for anyone to run any deck that they want ever. Doesn't matter what someone thinks of a deck, Everyone has that right to play the deck that they want to, whether or not they can't afford a deck and they actually want to maybe compete, so that's why they might go towards Chamber because you can win, or maybe they're just a really big fan of Exodia, so they want to go with that deck, or maybe they just really like how a deck runs. Maybe they like the controlling aspect of the deck or the archetype and just how it is for them. Maybe it matches their playstyle. It's completely down to the person and it's completely fine. Now there are always going to be these scum decks that come up and people don't enjoy them, but at the end of the day, it makes the game interesting. Now some people have kind of gotten under the assumption that these scumbag decks are decks that aren't in the meta, but you can argue that there are a lot of scumbag decks still in the meta. If we look back to different formats, Dino Rabbit was quite a solitaire-ish deck with the fact that you would summon a laggy and set five back row, your move. Quite similar to Infernity, under the same kind of pretense that you would make your play, bring out your boss monsters, and then set a load of back row to combat your opponent doing anything. If we look at today's meta, we have the Burning Abyss, which you can say that it's a scumbag deck, but I don't think it really falls under the category of scumbag deck. But Quillforce, I think kind of might fall under that, under what people's perception is of a scumbag deck, because it is just splurge, and you can argue that it is. Personally, I don't think any deck is a scumbag deck. Yes, there are decks out there that have cheaper winning conditions, like Chainburn or Exodia, but that's the game. That's how the game evolves, and if these archetypes didn't exist, then it would be quite linear. There have to be many different ways for a person to win in this game. Obviously, the main one is reducing your opponent's life points to zero, but having alternate win conditions actually makes it interesting. And regardless of what you might say, it is interesting. Everyone knows that I love Exodia. I've kind of had the deck, even on the side, as a fun thing for a very long time. I did the Quasar Exodia build, which has just come up on my channel not too long ago again. I've had Dragon Exodia. I've had every single build of Exodia because it's just a fun little deck for me. And I quite enjoy the whole challenge of winning with Exodia. Now, you might think there's no challenge. Well, if there was no challenge, why isn't it topping constantly? It's because there is a challenge. Yes, it can be stopped quite easily. Normally, you summon the Chioria Beast. Yeah, that, that person's gonna scoop. It's still just interesting, and I enjoy it. It's not one that I would probably bring to locals every so often. Might maybe bring Quasar Exodia because it's pretty different and people quite enjoy seeing how it happens, and it's pretty entertaining. But the main one that people really don't like is Chainburn. If someone tops with Chainburn, there's automatic hate towards that player. And I think it's unjust because there is this misconception that Chainburn is a really cheap and easy deck to beat someone with and really kind of mindless. I disagree. If you actually sit down and play nine rounds with Chainburn, it's actually pretty difficult. It's not as easy as you might first think. Now, I'm not promoting the deck. I'm not saying everyone should go out and get Chainburn and, you know, play in tournaments with it because regardless of what 
their overall image is if you do play someone with chain burn they're probably going to dislike it and they're probably going to dislike you as a duelist if they don't know you they'll just have that automatic assumption that you are a scumbag duelist because you are playing this deck that is the problem people will judge you on the deck that you're playing it's kind of don't judge a book by its cover you just might want to think hey i think chain burn is actually quite a good fit for the meta right now because a lot of people do do that a couple of formats ago Chainburn kind of hyped up a little bit out of the blue because it's one of those decks never really gets hit by the ban list and the only way it normally does is if Konami really don't like that deck or if they've had some support and then it's been taken away that's not hitting the deck that's just hitting the off theme support that has just happened to come out. One Day in Peace for example was something for Exodia decks that got hit but wasn't really a card that was meant for them. Chainburn can be played in many different ways Scumbag decks can be played in many different ways and it doesn't really matter in my opinion what deck someone wants to play because it's completely down to them. Playing an X type of deck doesn't make you a scumbag duelist and it's completely fine for you to play these decks wherever you want because at the end of the day it's down to you. You shouldn't have to be put under this misconception that you're some scumbag bad player, that you have a bad image just for playing a certain deck that you do enjoy. Hey, you never know, you might want to piss people off. That's completely fine, that's down to yourself. You, you reap the benefits and you deal with the consequences that you actually have to deal with when playing that deck. But going back to the original question, is it okay to run scumbag decks at locals and tournaments? Yes, why not? But why is it a scumbag deck? It's not fair to label something like that in my opinion because everyone has the right to play whatever deck they want and it's unfair to label them as a scumbag deck, a scumbag player or whatever. So I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. It'd be really interesting to see the discussion that came out of this. I did a video on Chainburn and why it got so much hate in March, I think it was this year. That got a good amount of discussion going so it'd be quite nice to see another amount of discussion going on on this video. So let me know down in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe and I should catch you guys later.